Good day, everyone, and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. We strongly recommend to stay on a sim as long as needed before uh, you go live. Uh, we have uh, many different auto trades in your package, but I'm going to be covering two different type of an auto trade. This one here is one type of an auto trade. If we look at the left upper market analyzer, we just had an entry signal uh, on the NASDAQ YMES sell position 41.18 on the ES, uh, target 41.09. But this is based on one contract, uh, one contract, and that's what you see here, double the amount because it's on two contract. The NASDAQ, one contract, 90, so now is 80 ticks, 390 is double the amount because it is um, uh, based on two contract and here is based on one contract. On the last entry, not the whole day, on the last entry right now, on the last entry signal, there is a 313 ticks into the profit. The market analyzer is based on one contract, not two contract, but we use on the auto trade two contract. Normally the auto trade, the plot, the target depends on uh, the market movement. It's not uh, a prefixed like uh, most of the uh, people use this kind of auto trade, which we will cover different kind of auto trade. This is, is a prefixed uh, target, daily target, daily losses. This one here, it is uh, different. The auto trade uh, plot the target and the trading stops are based on FIBS. And then each target, each trade is calculated depends on the market movement. And then if you want to overwrite the auto trade, you can overwrite, uh, overwrite the auto trade. If you want to secure some of the profit while it's trading, you still can do that and take it and let's say break even. So now you are a home free. Or if you want to secure half of it, let's say to the uh, 798, you can secure half of it if you want to. So you can interfere uh, with the auto trade and... Uh, uh, this is one type of an auto trade, and uh, we want to uh, show you also uh, we have the TI7 uh, for the NT8, Ninja Trader 8. It is a very advanced automated trade. Uh, mainly we use a minute, and this is a, a different, totally different type of an auto trade from the signal. And you can use a trailing stop, stop loss, daily target. Uh, on the left one is a five minutes ES is into the trade and uh, this is the three minute uh, ES. That's the only opening position we have and the rest they have hit the target so we will look at the ones. But uh, those are the only two position open and uh, the rest already hit their daily target. Let me bring it down. Uh, this uh, uh, this auto trade have a different type of an entry. It's a very advanced auto automated trade, and we we have two version of it. Also, uh, they are for both of them for Ninja Trader Eight, but uh, we have tangled a little bit uh, with the the second version, and we kept the old uh, the uh, the the classic version and the advanced version. It's the same entry, the same filters have a big variety of filters and entries. But what we have done, we have done, we have, we are using the latest technology uh, to uh, approach the optimization for Ninja Trader 8. I mean, there is a basic optimization, but also if you have uh, talented uh, programming and knowledge, uh, then you can modify uh, the, the not just the latest technology, but the best of the latest technology you can apply to the auto trade to give you better um, um, optimization uh, on uh, the uh, auto trade. As you see, all of them, they are on minutes if you want it to be aggressive or not. The only thing we, we have is um, for the newbies, if they don't understand volatility, they don't want it to uh, they don't understand how to optimize. They don't, um, you know, then they can use uh, 11 or 12 range. 
and then what that happened it iron all those noises in the market so this is a recommendation for a guy who don't know what's going on in the market to start with a 12 range or 11 range and um, maybe it's not as aggressive as the minutes but uh, this way he can uh, dismiss the, the 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 noises in the market so i'm not gonna go through all of them but i will go to some of it uh, this is an es five minutes four minutes i mean uh es two minutes it's beautiful entries and what is it's not about the money is this area i like it when we are using two minutes and the auto trade avoided this area here. This is the worst enemy for auto trading. And um, when you dismiss this area here, that's what makes me happy is that today you can be making a hundred dollar tomorrow, maybe not making a hundred. It doesn't matter about the numbers, but uh, I always keep my eye on how the auto trade behave when the market is a flat this is the most important because when the market is flat there is no money to be made or the auto trade to start taking a wrong trade it's not my auto trade any auto trade when the when those condition here uh, can put a stress on any kind of auto trade so this is when I see my auto trade skip that that's what the enjoyment out of it because the problem this trader sometimes cannot read a sideway market and then he get in into trouble and uh, and it has to be avoided you know auto trading at the end of the day is a mechanical automated trade uh, it's not magical so when the market there is a chop in the market you're gonna feel the pain in the trading and um, you can on on the ti7 you can use um, scalping you can use um, um, swing trading you can be aggressive conservative this is a beautiful trade on the CL all of them they are on $1,000 target but uh, if the market going to your direction is gonna stay on to your favor uh, today then the Nasdaq did something else also the YM uh, catch a beautiful ride uh, be, and then we were done around 12 o'clock and this is a beautiful trade uh, nailed it from the beginning till the end and that what makes me happy and then look at this after that there is a market sideway here where there is no money to be made a little bit here money to be made and here there is no money to be made so the idea about uh, trading 24 7 you know uh, that's not true because when the market is trending you make money when the market is not trending you lose money so this is you gotta uh, understand the the different like uh, here we had small trades on the nasdaq and uh, and uh, before that and this is a beautiful and look at this chop here you see this big mass here and this is typical uh, and plus we don't use too much uh, big stop loss and this is a big mess and then when the market start trending you are in the money in the money losing the trade bingo right there and you're done so if we if we look at the Nasdaq really we have not missed anything um, so that's how it is and um, the Russell also beautiful uh, trade on the three minutes um, they're all on the minutes I mean you don't have to guess every morning if you need to use a rank board or a tick chart or whatever uh, we uh, five minutes is more conservative three four minutes I mean look this is a beautiful trade I mean we got into the chop here and then when the market is trending you're done and uh, this is part of the trading you have to be patient uh, with your trading so now is 323 we 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 are done for today we closed everything uh, uh we will see you tomorrow live on the other channel and uh, i want to say thank you very much and uh, uh we'll
will see you tomorrow on live at 10 o'clock Eastern time on the other channel. Thank you very much and God bless you all. Bye for now.